sometimes the laser power is too high. You hurt the base material. Sometimes the power is not enough. The parameters are not right, and you didn't fulfill the cleaning job. In some worst cases, the wrong parameters can hurt the laser source or shorten the lifetime of your laser cleaner. Hi everyone, this is Jelly. Welcome to Jelly Talk. Today I'm going to bring you a, a full set of operations that show you how to set the right parameters for your laser cleaning machine. If you want to solve the problems of your cleaning machine and if you want to use your cleaning machine in a better way of a better cleaning effects or speed, you better finish this video with me. Before making the test, let's learn that what kind of parameters we can adjust or play with in your laser cleaning machine and what does that mean. Let's see the first page. In our machine, in the first page, the first group of parameters are laser power, laser frequency, the pulse duration, and the mirror frequency. These four parameters are the most important parameters that you are going to play with during the cleaning process. Laser power is the average power output per minute of your machine. If you're buying a 100 watt, 200 watt, or 500 watt, or 300 watt, means your machine gives the laser power of 500 watt, which is the average power. So with the same average power comes the second parameter, frequency. Frequency means because in pulse lasers, we can make the laser as uh, output as one, one by one pulses. So a lot of pulses in, uh, in one minute or one second to give out. For the, for the specifications, it's mainly one second. So if you read the menu of the laser source of your machine, they're always writing the laser frequency from 100 kilohertz to like, for example, 4,000 kilohertz. What does it mean? If you choose 100 kilohertz, means, which is a very low frequency, means that in one second, this laser gave average power of 500 watts, but with, uh, uh, with less pulses. Then if you choose maximum 4,000 kilohertz, means there are a lot of short pulses. High frequency means a lot of laser pulses came out in one second. So let's, let's imagine the average power is fixed, 500, no more than that. If you have more pulses, less laser power every single pulse. If you have less pulses quantity, you have more pulse energy every single pulse. So this is uh, some, some, something you need to bear in mind. After the frequency, there is the pulse duration, which is related with the frequency. For example, if you have the average power of 500 watts for the laser, if, you know, we talk about the frequency, you choose 4,000 kilohertz, means in one second you gave a lot of pulses. And the pulse goes like peak power and, uh, you know, many pulses like this. So the duration means the laser on time. Then comes laser off, then laser on. So every single pulse, if the duration is, uh, we normally, uh, in the laser menu, they start from like, you can go even minimum one nanosecond or two nanoseconds, 10 or 60, or you know, uh, normally we choose 150 nanoseconds or 250 or 350 or maximum 500 nanoseconds. So if you choose very short pulses, means you generally you give more pulses. So less pulse duration, high laser frequency, or very long pulse duration, but less frequency. Because you give generally, because they, the, the pulse duration plus the pulses, you give generally the average power. The average power is fixed. So these two parameters are related. You cannot go, um, you know, you cannot choose the maximum duration with the maximum 
frequency. This you cannot put in in the laser source. Actually, um, in our laser cleaning machine, we give already a full range, uh, which you will see in the screen that uh, for this kind of laser, we gave us maximum um, set of parameters, frequency and pulse duration for you to choose. Doesn't mean that you can choose any numbers in this range. The last parameter is the mirror frequency. Mirror frequency means that when the laser generates laser beam, it goes through uh, the collimator and then to the focus. And then in the end, there is a scanning motor, the, the last mirror, which is reflecting the laser beam to the surface of the workpiece. So this, the frequency of mirror means the speed, the rotating speed of the scanner, which means the, mm, the moving speed of the beam. So if you have very, you choose very high frequency for the mirror frequency means the scanner moving in the fast, fastest speed. Generally speaking, it means you have a faster cleaning speed. If you choose a, a slower frequency or shorter frequency, a smaller frequency for the mirror frequency, the mirrors rotate very slow. Uh, this parameter you can choose quite freely, but we, we still suggest uh, some limits. For example, if you have a uh, small frequency of the laser, means that uh, you have few uh, laser pulses every second, but you give super high speed for the scanners. So you will see from the video, you give high speed for the scanners and uh, the scanner is moving very fast, but the, list, the, uh, the quantity of laser beam is not enough, then you, you don't cover all the cleaning parts. The beam, you see that the beam is moving dots by dots, which is not con continuously to clean. We'll check by the video. So after my complicated introduction of the four main parameters, I think you have a clear, I hope you have a clear understanding of how to adjust it, the, the indications. So now let's start the real demonstration of them. How, the, how is that uh, laser behaves after we adjust those parameters. Let's go! I've explained that how to play with the parameters or adjust the parameters of laser power, frequency, pulse duration and mirror frequency. If you want to know more about Chinese laser machines, the knowledge about how to use them or how to maintain them, or the newest information about laser products from China, please follow my channel. <laughs>